Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. In today's video, I would want to talk about my biggest fears experienced in Sweden. I don't know why do I call it fears. Because if I look back, because this is really related to the beginning of my journey in Sweden, in Stockholm, um, especially the first couple of months when I first moved here oh my goodness I experienced really really scary <laughs> situations uh, to me and I remember I felt fear I felt kind of adrenaline and uh, social anxiety almost and uh, especially you know this is really related to social interaction, communication with people out there, and so on. So yes, I'm gonna share with you guys those fears and I'm pretty sure you guys, the ones that are experts living in Sweden or living abroad somewhere, and uh, you have probably experienced uh, the same kind of thing as I did. So yeah. Let's get started. So you guys, my one of my biggest fears is or was picking up the phone when someone was calling to my phone number here in Sweden, especially at the beginning. Oh my goodness. I used to just, you know, you just you start your regular day and you see your phone ringing and you see the numbers that you don't recognize it's some Swedish number and oh my god what do you do do you pick it up do you answer or what do you do like you don't speak the language so well yet are you able to handle a phone call in Swedish so I remember my heart beating like crazy and like you guys it's one of the one of the biggest fears or biggest adrenaline feelings that i had that i wasn't able to pick up the phone because i wasn't so sure about my language skills um as i said uh, at the beginning especially at the beginning of um, my life here in Sweden and it has been already two years now and I'm not scared at all to pick up the phone I just pick up the phone that's all and I just answer in Swedish it's okay but at the beginning it was so much struggle and quite a journey you guys really really scary and I know some friends of mine that also went through this uh, weird situation and one of my friends even asked me do you pick up the phone when someone calls you here in Sweden? I was like, mm, sometimes. So yeah, this is something that is really related to like social anxiety maybe or some kind of social fear or fear of like interacting with people that you don't know, especially when you're integrating in a new country and adapting to a new language and you're not sure enough, you're not confident enough with the language so this blocks you and it's absolutely normal to feel fear of being ridiculous and not being able to handle a phone call conversation if you guys feel this this way especially at the early stage of your integration in sweden or in any other country just give yourself some time and it will become better and better and you will feel just so confident after some time, after a year, for example, some people even don't really struggle at all or just, you know, after a couple of months feel definitely confident, but I wasn't, I remember myself, I wasn't, I was scared and I was just not picking up the phone and uh, yeah, that's not the case anymore. <laughs> it has been two years, as I said, so I'm happy it's gone this fear has already gone okay bye um another experience that i had that is really related to fear and 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 anxiety and blocking myself is for example with someone knock on the door and i had to open right 
opening the door to some unknown person, some someone that would you you I don't know come to your place and fix I don't know something. And uh, I remember myself being so scared opening the door to a stranger, or you know, because you have to open the door and interact with the person in Swedish because that person doesn't expect you to speak any other language than Swedish, right? So I also remember not even opening the door, just, yeah, I just remember that kind of paralyzing anxiety <laughs> that I used to feel the first month, that it was absolutely unreal, so yeah. Anything that was uh, related to interaction was really scary to me. And I cannot believe I went through that because I'm not this kind of person. I'm, I'm social and I'm quite extrovert and I don't really care. It's okay, but you know, I guess you feel really insecure when you are in a new country, as I said before, and um, especially when there is a lack of uh, knowledge of Swedish language or you know feeling more comfortable when you communicate or yeah express yourself so that's I think that's the only reason that um, used to block me and block many people I guess so yeah picking up the phone and opening the door to stranger it's like wow mm -hmm. let me know if you guys have ever had this kind of paralyzing experience, uh, experience trying to handle a phone call in a different language or opening the door to someone and uh, having to interact with someone and uh, you just couldn't do that because of this fear and insecurity and um, yeah just let me know if you have had any of this any of those experiences. Let me have a sip of coffee because I'm falling asleep. Actually, November in Sweden is the nastiest month of the year, I would say. I've been here for like two years and I, I know. It's just gray month in between autumn and winter. It's like, I don't like November at all. So another thing that I went through is, for example, going groceries and you know everything is in Swedish when you have to go and pay it's also everything is in Swedish and I was like many times I just skipped that because I didn't want to go through some silly situation when I when I wouldn't know how to pay or how to express myself or how to ask anything oh my god you guys just because it's it's fascinating how how um how we react or how i react when when i wasn't in, in my into my comfort zone you know when you don't know the language enough you don't understand the culture enough well enough and you feel uncomfortable and you feel out of your comfort zone it makes you feel so uncomfortable and so 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 small as well as just at least in my situation, in my case, I can believe that. So, so yeah, just because I wasn't good enough at Swedish or not knowing enough how the system works, on how everything works, I was just so silly and so scared at the beginning and so like blocking myself as well. Oh my God, that's so ridiculous. And um, I remember myself thinking, Ah, oh, this will be fine in a couple of months when I adapt well and uh, feel more comfortable. And that's how it is right now. I mean, it has been already two years and everything just comes gradually by time. Just give yourself some time. It's normal thing that you don't know how things work and you're not sure, you're not secure enough, you don't feel confident enough, you don't know enough and that's absolutely normal so yeah i went through that and i guess many of you guys who are expats uh, went through the same and i'm sure you have had silly stories as i 
um, have had and I would appreciate if you shared it with me and um, if you are a Swedish person living abroad and you went through the same just please share it with me because I would appreciate it and would love to read it but yeah that was my story my biggest fears my biggest uh, probably yeah my paralyzing situations Ooh, girl. that I went through and it was funny and it's challenging and um, now it's great it feels okay and I don't do that that silly stuff anymore I pick up the phone I open the door and I go and do groceries as a normal grown person okay <laughs> that's so funny it's like being a kid or something being like a so small and so insecure like a little chicken or something you know <laughs> But that's absolutely normal you guys and everything comes by time and um, everything comes just gradually and uh, there's always a progress and you should not feel ashamed or uh, blame yourself for making mistakes or feeling fear or feeling insecure because that's absolutely normal that was it you guys I think it was a cozy nice video I just wanted to share with you this um, small things not so small no, it wasn't so small <laughs> back then take care you guys get yourself vitamin D if you live in Sweden or in some cold country <laughs> and there's a lack of Sun and see you guys in the next video bye